We are learning more today about a deadly bear attack in Banff National Park. Two experienced backcountry hikers were killed by a grizzly late Friday night and the response team arrived hours too late to save the couple and their dog. Some experts say this time of year is the most dangerous for bear attacks. CBC's Joe Horwood has those details. A desperate satellite SOS Friday evening, a bear attack in a remote part of Canada's oldest national park. Bad weather grounded helicopters, forcing rescuers to make the long, dark hike into the Red Deer River Valley. By the time they arrived, it was too late. Two people were dead. They were outdoors people who were, you know, were very used to going out there, going out into the backcountry and, and just and live for, for getting outdoors. So um, it's, I'm, I'm sure, an incredible shock for their family. And uh, I just really feel for them. It's, it's, a, it's a horrible situation. Bear attacks are rare. Fatalities even rarer. We only see uh, a couple of those, you know, a, a year, um, and you know we're talking about all of North America. So it's, it is an extremely rare thing to happen. Um, and uh, but that doesn't really change it for the family and the victims. It's 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 devastating. There have been several bear encounters in recent weeks. All right, guys, are keep looking. This video taken last month shows a group of hikers in the same park being followed by a pair of grizzlies for about 20 minutes before the bears disappeared into the trees. And just last week, the park's most famous grizzly, a 650 pound behemoth known as the boss, charged at locals in the Banff town site where he had come to raid fruit trees near a resident's home. This time of year is especially dangerous. At this time of year, bears are trying to fatten up for the winter. So they, they're just feeding. They become protective of the food source. And if they feel like you're a potential threat to take that food source away, they may act in an aggressive manner. Bears protecting their food source can be defensive. The response team in this case encountered a grizzly displaying aggressive behavior and killed it. To stay safe, the main thing is to avoid contact in the first place, making noise while hiking, keeping an eye out for tracks or claw marks on trees, even looking for birds circling above, which could indicate a carcass is nearby. Titchener says if you see these signs, pick a different trail. If you do come face to face with a grizzly, group up, do not run away. Get the bear spray out and be ready to use it. But a defensive bear is a very different situation from being stalked by a bear. So taking the time to take a bear safety course before you go out into the backcountry could be the difference between life and death. Joe Horwood, CBC News, Lake Louise.